this thing is just so, so quick. And really the ride quality is not that bad in this sport mode. But this thing just lays down the power, my gosh. Absolutely incredible. And I have a little experience driving Corvette, so I kind of know how the traction control works and all of that. And it really just, if you just want to floor it for no reason, you have complete control of this car. And really that mid-engine setup helps with that a lot. give it quite a bit of power get on the interstate here here we go wow 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 oh the sound and just I was thrown back in the seat oh my goodness that was crazy oh Unbelievable. And really, going down the interstate, I'm trying to keep the distance from this uh, truck in front of me that's flinging mud, but doing 65 down the interstate, just a really nice ride I wouldn't call it smooth of course this being a sports car but it's not uncomfortable at all and the seats really hold you into place and I just love the feel of the steering wheel I feel like I have complete control of this car So great. I'm going to test out the sound system real quick, just so you can see how that sounds. So really good bass and it does feel like it's coming from the back and I like that kind of uh, sound acoustic there and just really clear without piercing my eardrums and you know it's a Bose system so you wouldn't expect anything less than great but just still really impressed with the sound. When you paddle shift, just really quick shifts, unbelievable, up and down. And 
And then that four cylinder deactivation mode just happened there while I was cruising. Just a lot of fun. You can really put the power down in this car however you want to. Or if you're trying to save on fuel, however you don't want to. And this is gonna bring me to an end of my review of the 2022 Corvette Stingray Convertible 3LT.